school vacation week. And if you are staying close to home, Boston's Children's Museum says it is engineering fun all week long. Carol Charano, president and CEO of Boston Children's Museum here this morning to share some of the plans for the kids. So good morning and what are some of the highlights to get the fun rolling this week? Good morning. I'm just uh, thrilled to be here with you today. So yes, we have engineering week. Um, there are so many great activities for the kids. For a start, we've got a Lego activity. We're making magnetic lev cars. We've got, uh, we're building paper rockets. We've got a Kaibo a robot and Scratch Junior demo. Um, what's really fun, we're doing some artificial intelligence this week at the museum, some AI storytelling. And we were uh, also premiering um, the Work It Out Wombots, which is going to be a new GBH television series. And uh, we're really excited to welcome the Wombots to the museum. That show is on now, I can confirm, because my son is obsessed with it. It's been playing nonstop <laughs> this past week. There is a relatively new exhibit, too, called You, Me, We. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, this is very, very special. Um, this is an opportunity for parents to help their children understand uh, a little bit about some of the discourse issues that we have in our country today. So really, the idea of the exhibit is for people to go inside be proud of their own identity and their culture, express themselves, draw self-portraits. There's a place where you can record family stories. They can share recipes of their family's favorite foods. They can talk a bit about their beliefs and perhaps their religion. They can uh, sh express kindness and empathy. So this is really what it's all about, is getting to know yourself, getting to know others, and finding a way that you can build a better community. There is so much fun to do in that exhibit from cooking, from drawing, from playing with uh, blocks and making cities. It's really fun and I think kids are gonna really enjoy it. That is so inclusive, so empowering, proof that the museum is so much more than just playtime. How do you see children benefiting from all of that, the new stuff? Well. You know, there's no secret that we need to find ways to talk to one another in this country. So the museum is actually a really wonderful place where a lot of different kinds of families come. They meet with each other. They talk with each other. And this is an opportunity for them to have conversations. So I think the children will really benefit from uh, traveling from wherever they live, uh, learning about different people who live in their communities, um, expressing themselves, feeling proud of their own families and their own culture. And we hope that it'll sort of help them get on the right path to being uh, perhaps really great citizens and contributing to their communities. Before we let you go, you do have a pre-plan your visit. Can you explain how that works? Yes, if you go to our website, uh, you're able to, first of all, see our calendar. So in the calendar, we have all the different activities that are going on every single day. Um, you're also able to reserve your tickets and you can plan your visit with our special um, activities planner in the, uh, the website. So if you go to bostonchildrensmuseum.org, you'll have all the information you need to have a fabulous visit downtown this week. Okay, thank you, Carol Crush. Char now, president and CEO of Boston Children's Museum. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me.